In this video, we'll show you how to set up your complete Wi-Fi disk. You can use the MyBT app along with this video to help you with the setup process and find the best place for your Wi-Fi disk. Just download it from your phone's app store or by visiting bt.com forward slash products forward slash apps. You can then sign in with your BT ID or if you don't have one yet, you can create a new ID. If you're unable to download or use the MyBT app, you can still use the steps in this video to get your complete Wi-Fi set up manually. Your broadband needs to be set up and running before you can connect your disk. If you're setting up your Smart Hub 2 for the first time, the app will prompt you to do this first. Or you can click on the link in the description below if you prefer to watch our Smart Hub 2 setup video. If your hub is showing a steady blue light, you can pair your Wi-Fi disk with your hub. First, place the disk next to your hub. You'll then need to use the Ethernet cable provided in the box with your hub. It's the one with the yellow ends. Plug one end of the cable into the yellow port on the back of your disk and the other end into any numbered yellow port on the back of your hub. If your hub has one, make sure not to connect it to the port labelled WAN. The power plug comes in two parts. Slide them together until they click into place. Connect the power cable to the port labelled power on the back of your disk. Connect it to a mains power socket and switch it on by pressing the power button on the back of the disk. If you're using the MyBT app, from the home page select More, choose your Wi-Fi network, then set up new disk. The devices will automatically begin pairing whether you're using the app or not, which will take up to three minutes. Once finished, the light on the disk will turn solid blue. Your disk is now paired with your hub. Leave the disk where it is for now and unplug both ends of the ethernet cable. The light on the disk might turn red, but it should soon turn back to solid blue within two minutes. If it doesn't, visit bt.com forward slash fix complete Wi-Fi for more help. Once the lights turn solid blue, you can unplug the power cable from the wall so the disk can be moved to a new location. Take your smartphone, disk and the power supply and look for a spot close to a power socket. That's about halfway between your hub and the part of your home where you need a stronger Wi-Fi signal, ideally on a different floor but not directly above your hub. To do this through the app, select Begin Location Test and it'll tell you whether you found a good location or you should try somewhere else. When you found a good spot, select I'll use this location. Then just plug the disc back into a power socket and turn it on. Once the disc has powered back up, if it's within range, the light will return to a solid blue after a couple of minutes. If the light turns solid orange, it means that your disc is at the edge of its range, but will still provide you with a good Wi-Fi signal. You may benefit from moving it slightly closer to your hub if you can, but remember, you don't want to position your disc too close to your hub. Finally, you'll have the option to give your disc a name in the app and you're good to go. If you have any other discs to set up, follow the same steps you use to pair the first disc with your hub, either manually or through the app by selecting More from the home screen, choosing your Wi-Fi network, then set up new disk and following the on-screen steps. For more complete Wi-Fi help and tips, visit bt.com forward slash setup complete Wi-Fi.